Hello everyone, I'm Christine, your online mind and body empowerment coach. Um, I thought I would do something a little bit different today and give you guys a little glimpse into my past. I'm hoping that in doing so, it will give you a better understanding as to why it is that I do what I do, which is help women heal from food and body struggles. So I was about nine, 10 years old and I really started to struggle with sort of my identity and who I was and you know, I was extremely introverted, I was shy, quiet as can be, never raised my hand, was scared to death to speak up, didn't have a lot of friends, didn't really ever wanna play sports. Um, I was just afraid of everything. Like I really let fear control me. Um, I was a perfectionist. I was afraid to mess up and to screw up. Um, I felt like I always had to prove myself, prove my worth. Um, I just, yeah, it was, it was tough. Um, and you know, at that time, like you don't know how to navigate feelings and emotions like that, like so deep and so heavy, you know? So I didn't, I didn't talk about it and I kept it all inside like so many of us do. And you know, enter diet culture and I soon quickly realized that I could control and manipulate all of these feelings and heavy emotions that I couldn't process otherwise through my relationship with food and my body. Um, and I quickly developed an eating disorder from that. Um, and you know, honestly guys, I struggled with that for, for a really long time. And it, it really wasn't until about four years ago that I had my first child, my son, that I kind of woke up and I realized like, I can't do this anymore. I want to be a mom. I want to be fully present and, and enjoy this time that I have with my child. Like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? So, plus I wanted to set a good example, of course. And you know, I realized that I had two choices, either stay stuck where I'm at and, and play the victim for the rest of my life and be miserable, or I could take responsibility and accountability and choose to move forward, choose myself in doing so. Um, and that's the direction I chose to go. You know, I, I kind of decided that and I never looked back. Um, I realized that, you know, I was choosing to stay where I was. I was choosing to be, to allow my fears and my insecurities to control my life. And, you know, it, it came to a point where I said enough is enough. So my biggest advice for you guys in this story is, you know, never give up on you and, and just know that, you know, no one is ever really going to have your back the way that you do. And no one is really and truly going to see your worth until you see your worth. So you really have to be willing to dig deep, do the work. If you're struggling with something, whether it be food in your body or something else, be willing to recognize that, realize it, and, and notice that you have a part in that. And you have the power and the ability to take back control in a good way, in a positive way, and to turn your life around because we create our realities and we can always change our story and write a much, 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 much better one for ourselves. So I hope that you guys hear this message and just you know a great way to stay connected with yourself and to really nurture the relationship you have with you and you alone is to feed your body, feed your mind, feed your heart, and feed your soul with love. And that's a really great place to start. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you again, talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye.